all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information i see the hot in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you go be the first who we'll collect them oh well, yeah let's go down to the news proper i see the hot you don't shall I see the B, um, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, Mazi Simon Epa Wanjoko, don't drop another bond shell for the matters we will see in the sub for the Obodo of the indigenous people of Biafra. Uh, but before I go bring you that uh, direct uh, uh, that direct talk, uh, make you hear from the Prime Minister direct. Make I show you one thing what happened, the sales of them are confused, where's the request? To establish government colleges at Okigwe. Uh, remember, say, those are them, uh, we'll be saying, I'm be the second uh, time governor now uh, for the state where they call uh, Imo State. Uh, they don't they contemplate whether they go, they go build a government college at, at Okigwe. Um, I go say, all this establishment, why they carry and bring them to you? Because, say, now the matter will be say, concern the land of the indigenous people of Biafra. Uh, because as it be, uh, mm -hmm. consider the issue of insecurity where we say it day for the Obodo this time. Where the people know the rest again based on the matters of insecurity as it be. I go say federal government, I be go, I be um, state government, the government of Governor Hope, who's uh, uh, anything where uh, they establish for or key where for government colleges, uh, make una, make una try consider security purposes make you not try consider security uh because now that one be first make you no go be say somebody uh, go carry and pick him put for school from there uh they say the Mvurundi kidnappers don't kidnap the pekin from there they don't find the pekin again that kind of thing uh now something where we say if they break belly if they break uh people hearts uh pekin pe uh, parents will be say bomb picking so i say government of hope is on danger if you know now one go the uh, establish uh, which is the column university uh, college of education colleges at okigwe government college at okigwe i beg uh, make una wait consider waiting the core security uh before una go do that kind of thing i see the b you know, say I tell you, say a rat where we say there for a uh, house. Now, you tell the one where they market, say, uh, meat, you there for the basket. I see the be the information there for my tell you, say, court gives order on dollar bribery video over 70 children missing at jihadist attack community. <laughs> when I don't see, I see the be say, uh, these communities where we say this jihad is the attack. Now, there are people, now then they sell them all. Pay attention. I know say you go the wait. Make I bring you within the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic government in exile, man. Someone I go talk today. I go bring them. But before that time, make you pay attention. Here are the things why they talk. Now the all these things where we say they happen for the north. You get one talk where our people talk. They say a river does not pass through the forest without bringing down trees. I see the bee. You go see, say, the things where we say they happen for some of these northern states. Now, they are people, now then they do a more video, don't they circulate? Say, some of these people, before they go come, they go dash dollar, give, carry dollar, give uh, some people where we say, uh, some people where we say the day for the obwe, uh, as it be. Now, so they go come, uh, the other obo security go disappear for them. They go fit carry out their operation. The video done the trend, and government one they carry mouth, chuck inside that matter, make them know where water take enter inside the watermelon. You don't know now because watermelon no just carry water out, you get where water take enter inside watermelon. Even the coconut where we say they up. He gets how water take enter coconut because you know go tell me say coconut today itself water go enter inside and I waiting the government they try find out but of course you know say people where they do these things and are the big big people where we say they do for government uh, because poor poor Fulani no go fit get AK forty seven rifle carry and the worker uh, poor nomad no go fit get AK forty seven rifle nine moga nine give to ram. Meanwhile, uh, Ndibo, 
Ndibo, Ndibo. How many times am I calling you people? Ndibo, Ndibo. How many times? Make kuna use una tongue, count una teeth. Uh, because as na na onya na amale be mili no mabia adre ma ba no webi eh onya na amale be mili no webi do ada mako ne bo no pose oh yeah, let's go make you hear the prime minister of the Biafra republic of in exile ask the man denyan the reality is always speaking so my people the biafra redeclaration or the declaration of the restoration of independent state of biafra is scheduled to happen this year in finland uh, like you all know, before that happens, we need to capture as many locations as possible within the Biafra territory. We need to capture barracks. We need to make sure we capture government houses. If we do not capture them, we make sure there is no presence of Nigeria security within Biafra territory. That is our target. For us to achieve this, we need fund. It is not by mouth we need fund we have the men we have the weapons we need fund to make sure that these weapons is sounding the sound of freedom every day we have been killed for a very long time and this is the only time in the history of biafra in the history of nigeria that we ro rose up to pick up and to defend ourselves this is the first time ever and we have been able to defend our land. So why are those who are standing by the roadside or by the fence, why are you still standing? You buy this particular propaganda of Samunekba is destroying everything in the Southeast, which is a lie. I was not the one who closed the port. I was not the one who did not bring the international airport to the Southeast. I was not the one who didn't build the road in the Southeast. All these things has been there before Simon Epa come to the limelight. But you know, always they look for a way to kill those who have risen up to say enough is enough. And you cannot be a tool to support such impunity. If you have been used for a long, for a long time, it is time you turn around. Look at what is happening in Nigeria today. The question you should ask yourself is, if something happened tomorrow, what is going to be your fate? What is going to be the fate of your people? The hope you have is this government and this Biafra movement today. Because at the end of the day, you will come to us. And by then, there will be no room for you to even cough. Because we are going to adopt a very strict, very stringent measures against those who do not support this struggle. I am telling you the fact. We will be wicked because people have died because of your negligence to the freedom of your own people because of you not supporting has led to the death of many and when you see them talking they tell you people are dying people are dying when we were not fighting for biafra are people not dying when samanapa was one nigeria people were being killed it was because of the killings of our people that necessitated samanapa to become what he is today if there were no killing of my people, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today. I wouldn't be shouting for freedom of my people. But because our people has always been the, uh, the, the scapegoat of the Nigeria state, at every given little thing, they get killed because nobody has the courage to say, take up arm and fight. Today, I am here and I am supporting the arm. And when they tell you that we are violent, I do not know how we become violent. We were not violent before, but if self-defense is violent, then I am violent. I've said it several times. Take me to anywhere. And let me know where people will allow the terrorists to come to their place and kill people without, uh, you know, without somebody doing something. That's what I'm doing. And then also, because we are now in the government preparing for the declaration of the restoration of independent state of Biafra. For this to be successful, there are many things that need to be put in place. One is our currency, finance. We are going to have emergency meeting, emergency cabinet meeting, where the Biafra Federal Reserve will be discussed and possibly approved for immediate or 
you know, immediate uh, coming to force of the Biafra, uh, Biafra coin. And La will promise Biafra people by March, which is coming this coming month, Biafra will have its currency in digital, digital first ever digital currency, Biafra coin. I will want that particular Biafra coin to also be in the stock exchange as soon as possible. This is happening in March, this March. And you know, as this is happening, a lot is going to follow. So we have a target that we must meet. So this freedom we are fighting is not a litmus test. We are not doing a uh, tum bomb tum bomb. We know what we are doing and we have a target. And our goal, we set it very high and we'll achieve it. This is a freedom fighting with vision. The vision we have for our people is why Nigeria are going down, Biafra is building a very strong structure for a very strong nation. We have now done and almost concluded with the Biafra database, Biafra identity card, which by the special grace of God, before March, we will unveil the Biafra identity card and the application will start. In the next State of the Union address, a lot of things will happen. As this is happening, we want to make Nigeria uncomfortable as much as we can through the delegitimization of the system within the Biafra Treaty. This whole thing needs fund. But you know, the enemy of our freedom will always tell you, everything is fund, fund, fund. Everything is fund. And since we started, they have always tried to demoralize those who don't know what they are doing. Thinking that when they say everything is fund, 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 we will stop fundraising. No, rather we increase it. That's the reason why we have been able to stand this terrorist government today and we can beat our chest and say we have defeated them. And we continue to defeat them. The war happening in Biafra land is something that by the time many of you know just little of what is going on, you will know that you have messed up for not supporting Biafra up to this point. The people in America have the capacity to make this Biafra a reality even before the time frame we have. Our prayer is that Nigeria goes down on daily basis. The economic strangulation by the Biafra government will take a different turn from next week. We will continue to decimate the oil pipeline in our land. We will make sure that Nigeria will not have access to exploit oil again. That's our target. We've not gotten there, but we are doing it. It's a gradual thing. And between now and July, this year we will know where we are if the coup happen next month the declaration will be earlier than expected and like i said follow the template so far and you know that what we are doing is something that we are not just trying our luck i am not here to lead biafra to astray i'm not here to lead biafra to try luck i am here telling you when biafra will be declared what we are doing, how we are going to do it, and what we are going to do, and the result of what we are doing, how it is going to end, and what is going to be the end result. And let me tell you, no matter how the snob us in the international community, no matter how the world power snob us, the time is coming, they are going to look for us. And we are going to give our condition. But you see this gone that Biafra is picking up, it is not going down. It is not going to go down, I swear to God, until the declaration, and once the declaration has happened, everything we are doing is now to defend our territory. And what we are doing now is just to train our people. Remember that few uh, last year, or last two years, when we started talking about, when they started fighting the, the uh, sit at home, I told them, we need this sit at home to prepare our people for what is to come. Today, that thing that we're preparing our people has come. And they are not feeling it. Because we prepare them mentally, physically, and otherwise. Why other people who have never sat at home for one day are crying? Biafra are celebrating. That is the mental toughness we have made our people to understand. That freedom is more important than anything.
Today, our people are making sacrifice because they know the future is bright. No matter how the team pains them, they will swallow it. They will look at the future. And that bright future is what we are looking at. Everybody is putting their eyes on the rising sun because the sun is rising. So my people in the United States, I am looking forward to see as many of you as possible in Finland. All right, my wonderful people. Uh, when I don't see, I see they happen. How does matter take be? Um, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, Marcy Simon, help and one joke don't talk. Um. <laughs> you know, waiting the waiting the bubbly me. Uh, where Simon Eba they be say that man is fearless, and not that Simon Eba is fearless, Simon Eba is brave. Not only that, that guy is brave, uh, he has wisdom, and not only that, he has wisdom, um, he know how to organize things. Uh, you know, this is what, uh, Nigerian leaders are lacking, NIG leaders are lacking, is what is called coordination. Uh, a government that lacks coordination might not be able to thrive very well. There might be a lot of resources at, at their disposal. There might be a lot of things at their disposal, a lot of, you know, good things that they can benefit from. But because the government lacks coordination, you find out that these things will still be lacking in that particular government. For example, look at the country called Nigeria, where there is iron ore, where there is limestone, where there is cement, where there is co cocoa for, for, for tea, limestone for cement, iron ore for iron, where there is gold, where there is crude oil, where there is tin, where there is californium, Lithium in this one Nigeria, <laughs> where there is a land good for agriculture, and you find out that the people are still in big lack. The people are still lacking. Why are these people lacking? Because the 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 mental capacity of their leaders is very low. It's very down. That's just the the reality. In any country where the mental capacity of the leaders are down. Where the the, 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 the the governmental powers lack what is called coordination, where they lack discipline. <laughs> you know, another, another part I need to touch is discipline. The government of NIG lacks discipline, and I believe that the government of Biafra is about to teach them what is called discipline. I don't know if you're getting the point, because a government that lacks accountability. The government in an NIG lacks accountability. How can you tell me that after the EFCC raided a lot of politicians during the time of Muhammad Buhari, immediately he entered office, one of his statement and vision, vision statement is to fight corruption. According to him, he said that he came into power to fight corruption. And on that note, now because the government lacks what is called accountability, this will, this will show you that the government is not going to go far. <laughs> a lot of things that we are recovered during the Muhammad Buhari's administration. And when, when this present government start, started asking about audits, what about the audits? Where are the audits? Where are the record of the national assets? Things recovered. Stolen assets from the government that we are recovered back. When these things we are being asked for, where are these assets? Where are these assets that are belonging to the government? They are nowhere to be found. <laughs> the, the auditor said they don't have a record on this. That was when they find out they started uh, bringing up the allegation or putting the allegation on the, 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 the former governor of the, the central bank whose appointment or, or duty uh, Tinubu froze and sent him to the EFCC net. Now, they started looking at a case where the presidential signature, president's signature was forged. <laughs> you can imagine such a funny country, such a, you know, such a clown country, if I should put it that way, because looking at what the leaders are doing, this will show you that the leaders are practically playing.
you know uh, in a government where you don't have accountability where 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 those who are put in power to account to the masses are not able to account there is no accountability the same thing happens in the state government the same things happen in the federal government the same in the judiciary, in the legislature, in the executive arm of the government, even in the local government. Nigeria is operating, I think, in three tiers. You, you have first the local government, you have the state government, you now have the federal government. And all these things, even now, the local governments are not working. All these governors are freezing the local government. The local government is not autonomy on their own. It's not an autonomy government. Local government is not autonomy on their own. Meanwhile, uh, be that as it may, and be that may as it may be, um, you don't see as it happen. If we continue to talk, the matter as we be say, he did for the country, where did they call NIG? Uh, we know we go today. As it be, Abia launches data capturing of PWDS. <laughs> Oti kai geso mone je je mona na na oti kai geso oti 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 kai geso mone je je mona na na oti kai geso ah di goru koga di si bwe kene munu ya en si kwa nun konye chinya zelo Eh, makane ebo nye jibi kona awa chi. Hmm? Wena si nangunu jie ko. Oh my. Oh my subscribers. Nangunu jie ka ama wakwa nare kwa nunu. Hmm? Si unu na nyabu wa kuchine ke gili unu na aka. Eh, na oma nyonari unu. Wena si unu na ye adikwo. Eh, wena si. Eh, na ebo belu. Kugo belu nke si ibi ebe kwa na. Eh, si nku kwa kwa ya. Eh, si unu si ka wani nye unu. Nya unu kwa anu kofu kwa unu si ade. Hmm? So, when you see Kudo, the one near, and your blues of food, and I can have one source, and if you talk about the melee, and I give blues of melee on us, okay, well, I'm making a year, put a chew, go. When I say, can I moon? Yeah.